Hi, in front of you is the Canon PowerShot S2IS image stabilized lens. This is a 5 megapixel camera with 12 times optical zoom. This camera is great for any beginner who uh, wants to have a little bit more control over their camera. You have your automatic settings. Below the automatic are your preset modes like portraiture, landscape, nighttime portraiture, scene mode for those really odd lighting situations you've got special effects mode you've got panoramic and movie capabilities above the automatic is uh, the semi-manual capabilities you've got program mode you've got shutter priority you've got aperture priority you have full manual capabilities as well and of course you have custom customization available as well on the top here you have your rocker to allow you to zoom in and zoom out of your subject. This will allow you to uh, take the picture. This is your shutter release button. And below that is your drive mode. This allows you to control your uh, continuous burst mode or you can turn on your self timer. This button here or switch is your, uh, your switch to turn on and off your camera. It also allows you to toggle between camera mode and playback mode. On the top we also have your built-in flash. So this will allow you to illuminate subjects up to 8 to 10 feet. This little uh, um, circular part here is your AF assist beam. So this will help aid in autofocus in low light situations. On the back of the camera, you have your tilting LCD screen. This allows you to shoot above your head, and you can also turn it around to do some self-portraitures as well. You can also rotate it to the back like this, and for those times where the uh, LCD is really difficult to see in bright light situation, you also have your electronic viewfinder. Uh, to the side of the electronic viewfinder you also have your diopter so this will allow you um, to change the focusing of your um, your electronic viewfinder for those that wear glasses this red button here this one will allow you to start and stop recording video your function button allows you some control over your uh, white balance, ISO settings, exposure compensation. So again, it's a little bit for the more advanced users. This one will also um, allow you to control your metering capabilities. So basically it's how the camera analyzes the lighting situation. This button here controls the different sizes that in terms of resolutions that you can shoot at and this is your display button which allows you to toggle on and off your uh, your LCD screen over here we have your um, control pad which allows you to um, go up down left right through your while you're navigating through your menu system and this is your set button which allows you to confirm selection and of course you've got your menu button to the side here this compartment will allow you access to the SD card um, this camera can support up to two gigabytes of memory uh, it will not go more than that because it uses uh, the the four gigabyte card uh, uses a different technology On the bottom here you have your standard tripod socket. Uh, this will allow you to mount your camera onto pretty much any tripod that is available to the general consumer. And this here is your compartment for your battery. So as you can see this uses four AA batteries. And the great thing about that is um, you don't have to worry about, you know, not having power around because you can find these at any convenience store and so I would recommend using either rechargeable or lithium AA batteries uh, you can use alkalines but alkaline tends to drain really fast so just to confirm that this actually works I'm going to switch this on 
and you can see that uh, the lens has extended and uh, the LCD screen is actually working okay and um, on the side of the camera you actually have two buttons here one is your manual focus button this will allow you to, for critical focus so if the autofocus is just not working and you want to override that you can uh, use that button to override it. Below that is your macro button. Macro is just a fancy word for close-up photography. So if you're trying to photograph subjects that are you know, really close like jewelry, insects, just small little details, this is a great camera to allow you that capability to focus in on those uh, small little details. So again this camera is uh, great for any beginner. Um, I'm selling it for only $40 so if you're interested in purchasing this uh, please send me a private message and you can get this great camera thanks